Okay, so I've started on the floor. Um, these are the uh, the holes that I spotted when I started doing the other bit of work. And there's one there. I've ground a good bit of uh, bit of the paint and stuff away from around the edge. So nice, simple uh, little patches to put in there. That, that there's only the area of it. So that's a little one. Same with that one. Uh, this area here, um, that's the uh, little cross member which basically ends, well, it ends there. Um, so it's going to be a case really of just welding a piece of metal on the top of that cross brace because it's okay in here and it's okay there. Um, so that's uh, not too bad. And then a piece of metal on the top for the floor. Um, it's just a little one. Where are we? Uh, oh yeah, little one here. Nothing uh, drastic there. That's it there. Yeah, I'll, I'll move away a bit, and it gets a bit clearer then. Ah, there we go. It's better. Um, and I, I also thought I'd have a look under the uh, plastic step mat that's here. Um, these holes um, are they're already there that's what the, the if you've ever seen the underside of one of the mats it's uh, it's a mat with little sticky out bits on which clip into these holes and holds the mat in place so this is uh, the mat um, those are the prongs which I mentioned and they fit into those holes it just clips in place um, obviously I mean, it's not a very good design really, it's, it's not rubber, it's just a piece of plastic. Um, and obviously, where the prongs go, uh, water can just get sprayed up by the wheel, up round the edge and underneath, and it just fills up with water and then corrodes away. Uh, so when I put this in, I'll probably seal around each prong with some silicon, you know, or some instant gasket, something like engine builder's gasket, or something that's going to... Uh, basically seal it up but that should uh, scrub up nicely that with a bit of luck but uh, yeah a bit of poor design really I mean you're better off with a bit of rubber mat edge along here is very good feels good underneath looks good as well nice and uh, oh look there's my fingers uh, nice little uh, nice good solid bit of metal there and there we go so this is actually a whole lot better than I thought Someone's just put under seal on there. The paintwork under the paintwork underneath is very good. So I can't think why they've put under seal on there unless they thought that, that would stop it rusting. But it rusts from underneath. But the problem with these uh, steps is uh, the mat just gathers any water and it just corrodes away. So so that's a relief. Nice simple job there. Nice simple bit of patching. Very pleased with that. Okay, so the first patch is in. And it's now snowing, believe it or not. Brilliant. So the underfloor outrigger support, I've welded in the repair piece for it. Down there. And then the next bit to go in will be the floor panel, which I've made up. Uh, I've bent up a piece of sheet to suit. And I'll have to weld it in flat on this side uh, and then you know tack it in there and then bend the other side, the other end down because the floor slopes here so it's then welded down there and then with the hammer bash the sides to the metal here and form it to shape so that's the next job. So the floor panel repair is now in. So that's that one done and that one there. It's a lot of hard work getting to this bit, I can tell you. But it's nicely in there. I'm trying to weld upside down into a little place you can't even see. Oh, take some doing. 
but it's on there. Plenty of uh, fires underneath in the old um, undersill court, but uh, they go out easy enough. Just wipe your gloved finger across it, and it goes out. Whew. So, just two more to do. The little one there, and that one in there, and then it will be the step. Right, so that patch is now in there, and that patch down in there. There's my uh, wife's crazy Arab. He likes to whinny a lot because his friend is out on a ride at the moment. Right, so the step is cut out as you can see, and I've made a cut out a piece of metal, shaped and bent and so on, which will now fit in there quite nicely, as with any like, piece of metal made to fit a, a hole, they have to go in exactly right. which makes them a little bit tight to fit, but uh, that is the step. And there we are. And then a little bit of trimming down the left hand edge there just to suit the metal underneath. And then an infill where my fingers are, through there. And then some metal on those holes there. But that should come together quite nicely. Now the step is welded in, all the way around there, still just uh, that area there to plate up, and these two here, but uh, welded all the way through, and now I've cut out this piece here, which is going to, oh, which is going, right, mud off it, which is going to fit in here. Oh, tricky to do it one-handed. You get the idea. Basically it's going to fit along there, like so. And there's the side bit welded in. There's the whole step in there. Nice and solid. I've still got that bit there to do, and this little bit, and then of course just that hole that's under there. And then to tidy up the you know, seam seal underneath, uh, paint and under seal. So that piece is now welded in there, and uh, up the side there. So the whole step's coming together quite nicely. Just this little hole down here to do now. And that will be the inside of this side done. So that last piece is in. So that step is done. It's now getting starting to get dark, so that will do me. For today. Jobs are good.